Welcome to another episode of Paint with Rob the Builder. I'd like to dedicate this episode. It's going to be a winter scene. This eighth episode is going to be dedicated to my oldest son, John, his wife, Carissa, his children, Braylon, Alexis, Tyrin, Azalea, and Akeem. So I hope you guys are watching. Um, and all those who have um, viewed previous episodes, I'm going to try to do one again once every week. Um, hopefully, you know, you learn a lot. I learn a lot too, because I don't, I have an idea, but I don't know how it's going to turn out. So we'll see. Um, this particular view is a, is going to be a winter scene, but like you're looking out a window. Hopefully this all, uh, comes together and we're going to get started. Sometimes you'll hear me talk and then I'll just be thinking. So just bear with me. I will try to talk and paint. I do have, I have white, blue, white, blue, brown, black, red. So I'm going to try to try to do this the best way I possibly can. So, um, so I'm going to put a little bit, it's going to be like a moonlit. So I'm going to put some Put a little, a little bit of black. Uh, and blue. Because I want it to be, I want it to be kind of vibrant. You know, I don't want it to be like amazingly blue. It's going to be a moonlit sky. So, and you'll see, because you see the blue I'm putting on. And then I'm going to put white. So... It's going to be, it's going to, it's going to be pretty cool. I already have liquid clear on here, so you'll see a little bit of that, but I just wanted to put a little bit of the white. So I'm going to go ahead and put on, let's see. All right, let's see what we got. So I'm going to start I'm going to start in the center. And you want to really go from where the light is. So this is where So as you see the bright, you want to keep that. That's going to be like the moon. And so I'm just going to go ahead and it goes a long way. As you can see the blue, you'll start seeing the blue and um, hopefully you can see this. Because you want it to be a moonlit night, but you don't want it to be where it's so... You want it to be hazy. You want you want it to be blue with a little hint of you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Sometimes the paint or the tape comes comes off. I have to remember to I and sometimes the tape it, they get a little under the paint gets under the tape. But that's okay. So you get a little bit of white. Yeah, and so the, you see how the, the white gets carried out a little bit because you want it to be. I didn't put a whole lot of blue on there, but you, you kind of can see it. Uh, it's kind of a blue streaky sky. A lot of times when you're doing these, you don't know what it's going to look like, but we're just going to go with it. You know, we can always, the good thing about when you paint like this, you can always improvise because guess what? It's your painting, right? 
I have a lot of liquid clear and and I'm gonna put I'm gonna have spots of light you know because you want you you want the you want the reflection of the moon and we're gonna have a moon and when you do is you're gonna kind of simulate you want it to be you want to mirror mirror, mirror a moonlit sky on here so I'm gonna try to make this so you can kind of see what I'm looking what I'm getting at and so I think it's important to kind of see what I'm doing so that's why I want to I'm hopefully I'm not in the way but as I'm blending this out I want it to be I want it to be light but I don't want it to be like so mm -hmm. and since it's going to be a winter scene yeah so as you can see I want to focus on I mean the light I'm, I know the light right now is focused there but we're going to make this stand out a little bit. So I'm going to make this stand out just a hair more. Yeah, so the... So you want to focus. So then when we put the moon in, it's going to be, there's going to be snow and there's going to be. So now, this is kind of a wet brush right now. I'm going to go with a, try to do a drier brush. Um, yeah, let me get a drier brush. This will kind of. And you want to blend it. You know, that's kind of what I'm doing. You want to blend it. Because you're going to have trees. Because I think what we're going to have the, is the horizon is going to be like right about here. So you can have trees. We want the sky to kind of mirror. And, you, you know, I mean, I, you don't have to. You can have clouds. But you can also. I'm going to clean this brush. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some clouds in here. See what see what we're looking at. So I wanted to put I wanted to put like make it like there's clouds in the sky you know and that's kind of what we're going for yeah 
Yep. Right, you want it. Yeah. So if you can see it, you kind of see the clouds and. So it's kind of like a windy night. And so now this is where the moon's going to be. And that's important. So what the hell they say do the moon. sky that works for me what do you think like I said we'll see how this thing turns out so so that's the, that's the moonlit sky you know you don't want to make it too bright so I'm gonna go ahead and clean the brush because you want these somewhat dry you know the good thing about it is I have my uh, bucket I know one time I had uh, I forgot I had like work clothes on, decent clothes, and I'm sitting there trying to paint, and then I was cleaning off the brushes, and then <laughs> I realized I had good clothes on. So I'm thinking, oh, that's not going to go well. Okay. So yeah, that's kind of what we're going for as far as um, uh, paint. Okay. So I'm trying to think of what we're going to do. So I know you really want to make sure your brushes are dry and kind of free of paint. So so now what I'm going to do is you're going to want to I guess we can we can kind of start with trees. What do you think? Yeah. Well, I guess we can. Well, I want to make I want to make I w I really want to make a. I want to start here, like, let's see. So I'm, gonna, I'm trying to make snow. See, when you're doing snow, it's pretty simple, right? So you're kind of you're kind of setting your own. What I'm, what I'm trying to do is figure out the kind of the lay of the land, right? I had a little blue down there, so it's not too bad. So we're going to have trees, but I want to find out where. Yeah. kind of want um, I just wanted to start snow we can add anything like if you but I would just say let's just do the 
Let's get the snow on here and then we can change and mix it up. We're just going to get snow on there. And then let's start with, let's get a little brighter. So we're going to go. I think what we're going to do is we're going to start like we're coming from back here. You want it to be, you want distance, and the hardest thing is to do. We're just blocking in some distance. What we want, we want a cabin and we want because a lot of this is going to be covered up by trees anyway, so. I mean it's streaky when we get done I don't know hopefully the hopefully the lighting is better I don't know if it's let me go in yeah I guess that's the best way to do it it's kind of hard to see it but I'm just Now, I'm going to try to smooth it out. I'm going to see. I usually don't use this brush, but let's see what it looks like. Kind of doing a uh, kind of like a wind swept scene so I want to put trees in so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my fan brush I got to I want to mix a couple some colors so I want to mix I'm going to mix bring where's my palette knife all right so Gonna mix my colors right now, so I don't want to do that. I want green. Do I have green? I don't even have green out here. Green and red, believe it or not, make gray. When you mix red and green, it makes a it makes kind of an ugly color, but we're gonna make a gray. Okay, so we're going to take a fan brush and we're going to just start off and put a little bit more, a little bit more paint. keep kicking it it's probably so bright you can't even see what I'm doing and I apologize I got so much light on there that you can't even tell I'm gonna try to fix that problem and then I'll I'll, I'll adjust it oh maybe you can okay so yeah hopefully that's okay so so now 
I'm going to put some more trees in. But this time, I'm going to put some, some bigger trees. Where is, ah, here's the bigger. Sometimes it's hard to make trees, but we, we'll go with it. Well, we'll just make that a little Christmas tree, right? Right in the center. So that's kind of a green moment. We can make it a little bigger. How's that? put um we'll put white on there but what i wanted was the so i'm gonna put a house so i got green i i made those green but i'm gonna make the rest probably a little black because the 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 darker it gets and it's these are all going to be covered so i'm thinking the house over here or the house in the center. So I'm not sure what I want to do. So I'm just trying to figure out what's the best place because I want to put a house there. I really wanted to put the house there, but I got trees here so I can just do this. That's how I make my pine trees because they're going to be, you know, yeah. And then I'm going to put a big one here. So when I do pine trees, I don't do them kind of like the traditional way where you kind of Z. I like to make them kind of like teepees, but you get the drift, right? They're, they're, they're trees. So now I think we're going to try to make a house before I forget. Let's see. Take a palette brush. Take a palette knife. I can find my pellet knives. All right. Sorry, guys. All right, we're back again. We're going to try to find out where we can put our house.
I'm just trying to figure out Well, I'm, I'm just trying to make an outline of it because I don't want it to be. Yeah, you don't want it to be perfect. I mean, this isn't new construction. This is out in the. See, I I like to be careful, and sometimes you 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 can do it with. I'm trying to think of the lay of the land. All right, so yeah, and then you could fill it in. Now what I'm going to do, since I got the basic shape of the house, I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to try and fill in. I like the, the more uh, traditional Sorry. There we go. I'm just trying to find a more Brown, I think brown will be good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do so. kind of do the houses any way you want but I there we go I mean and you could fill it in I mean it's like it's that doesn't have to be perfect One time I started painting, I got all, all happy, and then it just got, it just went the other way. So, so let's do a, let's do a black roof. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a black roof. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah, you can see that, right? We're gonna, well, actually no, we're gonna do a, we're gonna be a, we're gonna, it's in the winter, right? steady hand you know when you get in your when you get older when you get older you tend to lose that stuff right yep so 
So. There we go. So now. So now we're going to go ahead and. You know what? We could. And we're going to do. So I'm going to just put a little bit more white on there. So in the so now I'm figuring do I have to make this go on across? There we go. All right. So what am I gonna do on the front? Um, I imagine I can do brown. Put some brown on the. So, so far it worked out okay. I mean, I get to the point where I get like, I love recording, but sometimes I forget that I'm actually recording. So I'm like, I'm so enthralled in what I'm doing. I'm like, okay, so we got a house. Um, what we like to do is obviously you got to have a way to get in. So you need a door. So I'm going to take some black. And then I'm, I'm going to make a door. Yep, there's the door, um, and you want you want windows, right? So I want to go ahead and put a, some a semblance a semblance of a window. Again, I I I like doing it, and the last time I went to record and I didn't like the way it looked, and I stopped the recording. I really shouldn't have stopped the recording, but. therein lies the problem right so if you stop this way you go if it doesn't turn out at least you can <laughs> erase and start again but with painting wait a minute, why did that no that wasn't yellow come on peeps you know and so you want yellow, so we got to get yellow. There we go. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. I like doing it. Actually, my new digs, I have my painting studio. Um, I'm still learning. Uh, you know, visual acoustics and everything else. So bear with me. I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put a window. Yeah. There we go. Maybe some. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> yeah, trying to do windows and
There we go. You know, you want people to live in there, right? So you got to make it. There we go. All right. So, and you know what? Let's just put one at the top because, like, they're waiting for Santa to come. So, there we go. All right. So, that's our house. And we're going to continue to make some trees. So, I am going to keep going with the trees. So. So the, so here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a big tree right here. Um, let's see, should we put a big tree here? Maybe I should do. I'm just trying to think. I don't know if I can do. Maybe I'll do a big tree here. So, I'm going to try to make a big, trying to make a big tree, but I need to make a one that's, Keep in mind, all this is going to be its going to be covered by snow anyway. So when you do your pine trees, hopefully you can see that. All right. And I, again, I apologize for the, for the crudity of it. But I, I mean, I guess I, I, I love seeing how it's going to turn out, you know, because it's, it's snowy. So what I might want to do, I want to do something different. I might want to... I might want to just do a, a tree, you know, not a pine tree, but a regular tree, like some trees that you would find. Okay. So.
Okay, so that's, and then I'm going to, uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm just blocking in some dark colors because then I'm going to make, I'm going to put snow on it. So I'm going to put like, just want to block in it doesn't have to be really really fancy but you want it to have snow I mean it's like I said it doesn't have to be completely complicated but I'm just trying to see liquid white so I'm going to actually put a little liquid white in there I don't want to use that I need something to mix the liquid white there we go There we go. So this liquid white or magic white they want to call it. I'm just using this. And go. So now, because that's all you want, you don't want it to be, I mean, you want to, you want to have like brush and you want to have, I do have to put a, I guess I have to put a chimney on there, right? Because then you're like, well, you got light, but you don't have, oh, okay. Every time I think I've got it down. <laughs> All right, so. I'm just going to put. There we go. There we go. There's the chimney. I, I just, I, I'm going for detail, but also I'm going to go for. Um, I'm just trying to find. So yeah, these are these are the trees I was going for. You know, and you just want to make sure that There we go. So 
now we were going to hopefully put some highlights on the trees. Do I have, I have another fan brush, right? And then I got some more liquid white. So, yep, yeah, it's starting to look like something, right? You think? I don't know, let's see. I mean, this is not really a pine tree, but it kind of is, you know. So, now, with it being the Christmas tree, we can... Yeah, I don't know. I've been tasked... I've been tasked... I just wanted to look decent you know what I mean everybody wants things that they do look decent and like this is like the first okay yep so now So let's make this a little brighter, flip it over, all right, all right, so that's the Christmas tree, that's a tree, so that's the sky, so basically, I think that we're, we're done, um, I think I'm tasked, I'm going to try to put, uh, like say a Santa, and I don't know how good my Santa is going to be, but I have an idea of what I want it to be like. So, but I might need to make the moon bigger. But for the most part, that is the painting that I'm going to go with, and hopefully, if, if hopefully you guys can see that. I'm sorry. Let's see. All right, so hopefully that will work. I will twink. Uh, I will tinker with it a little bit more, but that's what we have, and hopefully you'll like it. All right, take care.
Uh, and until we meet again, this is episode eight. Bye, John and the fam. Good to see you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right. So, ready for the reveal? We got some trees in the background. Trees over here. Basically, it's just trees, winter, evening, and we're going to do the reveal. And I don't know why I took off my gloves. Okay. So, it's supposed to look like a window out looking at a window. So, I'm going to peel the tape. I need to take, I need to loosen something first. All right. So, sorry, I got to loosen these up. Okay. All right. So, All right, so let's let's see how this looks. Sorry about that. So as you peel it off, hold, the goal is to have a window view. So now as you peel it down, okay, maybe, okay, I should do it this way. Okay. And let's go and take this off. Okay, so that is garbage. All right, so now we peel this across. All right. Okay. All right, so we're going to take these this down. I took the gloves off. <laughs> okay. I just got to hold this up. I'm going to peel the last remaining tape off of here. And the good thing about it is if you get paint where you don't want to on the frame but let's put it back up here so all right that is the winter window scene hopefully it turned out like you guys thought it should and that's it so again thank you for joining me uh, for another episode of paint with rob the builder and again i sometimes when i go for it, i'll just zone out but hopefully you got the most out of it it looks good okay i like it hopefully you'll like it too all right Take care. Hit the like and the subscribe button. Thank you again for all the views, comments, that kind of thing. Talk to you later. Bye.